I change up some keybinds, continue balancing the game, as well as add a few more sound effects. My name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 65 of Attila's Track. I asked you guys last week about your keybind preferences, and most of you preferred them to be close together. So now all the keybinds are reachable by your left hand. They're not insanely intuitive, but they are grouped together with Q and E being for the workers and builders, as well as D, X, and C being for the three different main mechanics of speaking, research, and marketing. I will say personally, when I was playtesting, I was using Q and E for building and workers, but I was clicking on the buttons for everything else. Maybe I'm just not used to the keybinds yet, but everyone has their own playstyle. As I did last week, I kept on balancing the game, tweaking a lot of different parameters. To sum things up, I felt like I made a lot of stuff slower, where it takes you longer to do certain stuff and the pace was a little bit slower, because it felt a little bit too fast. I did some tweaks with some things I didn't really expect, that I didn't foresee before, such as the psychologists. I used to have it before where they would spawn aliens every three or so seconds into one of the available rooms but when you have a lot of rooms you're kind of just left idle most of the time so i made it so aliens spawn every 0.1 second it doesn't really have that same effect i was looking at before but it makes a lot more sense and there will be a lot less idle less often i'm trying to balance the different difficulty modes as well mainly messing with the initial starting money which has a bigger effect than i thought essentially when you play you start off pretty slow but you gradually grow over time until it's kind of exponential when you earn lives. At least that is if you know what you're doing. <laughs> I also realized how important marketing is for, for the game in-game, not, I mean, outside too, but in-game <laughs> marketing is very important because if you leave it too long, then you might lose out on all your market shares and then you can never make any more money. So it's kind of over from that point. <laughs> I expect I'll keep tweeting stuff next week, but I'm feeling pretty good. Besides game development, one of my biggest passions is martial arts. I did a bunch of strength training this week, like push-ups, sit-ups, crunches, planks, just trying to keep my body strong, as well as did some knife training. Uh, it's a rubber knife, by the way, uh, but that was fun too. In other smaller news, I added some more sound effects, such as a win and lose sound, as well as a destroy building sound. I also spent some time fixing bugs with the music, making sure it stays consistent across scenes, as well as messing around with the volumes of different effects themselves because the notification sound was really loud and got really annoying so i quieted that way down <laughs> and let me just throw into this segment because it's a little bit shorter i have two kind of announcement things the first one is that we just recently hit 200 subscribers which is awesome thank you all for that also i recently made a video announcing pixel mania which is a pixel art competition slash challenge hosted by artindi I'll put a card to the video in the top right if you haven't seen it, and you can see my massive arms. <laughs> what do you look for in a game trailer? I'm gonna make a trailer for SPF next week, and I kinda wanna know some of your early thoughts. I'll probably post clips of it in the Discord for some early feedback as well, but I kinda wanna know what you wanna see and what looks good to you in a game trailer. If you enjoyed and are itching to play the game, you can just wait about two more weeks, but if you want to right now, you can play the demo linked below on itch.io. Thank you for watching. I want you to know that I love you. I care for you and I'm there for you. Anything at all, if you need it, just let me know. Shoot me a message through Discord. I'm always available if you need anything. Until next time for me and the commanders, we are saying goodbye and we will see you in the next devlog for some more fun. Bye everyone. <laughs>